Welcome back to episode 4 of my series called How to Use, in which I teach you guys how to use every single item in the Hypixel Bedwars shop. And this episode will be doing the uh, bed bug in the utility section. And uh, please vote in the iCard or in the comment section for an item, the next item in the utility section you want me to cover for the, in, in like two weeks. Uh, yeah, so I'll be teaching you guys how to use the bed the bed bug in this episode and all the cool different things you can do with it. I'm not sure if they're cool or not. They're kind of difficult to pull off. But anyways, let's get started with the video. Alright, so welcome to how to use the bed bug. And if you are familiar with my series, I go over the same few categories every single time. So first I go over a brief overview of the item, then I discuss what this item pairs well with, and blocks are always a given for that section. I then discuss the tactics you can use with this item, whether offensive, defensive, or evasive. And then I discuss the ideal placement of the item, if it's a placeable item. And I discuss what the game most works well in, then I, I discuss the necessity of the item, and lastly, I talk about my overall rating for the item. Alright, so I'm going to give a brief overview of the bed bug real quick. Uh, so it's a item found at the utility section, and it is the snowball icon. It costs 40 iron, and its lore is spawn silverfish where the snowball lands to, to distract your enemies. Last 15 seconds. So what does, it, what does this item pair well with? It pairs well with uh, wa the water bucket, invis potions, and ender pearls. Okay, now let's go into the different tactics you can use with this item. So offensively, when you're attacking an opposing team, you can use the bed bugs as a distraction by throwing the, them into their respawn point after you kill them. And if you pair this with water flowing into their respawn point, it makes it really annoying for the opposing team to get to you while you break their bed. If you're going to use water with this tactic, then uh, you throw the bed bugs at the back of their bed defense before or after placing the water. Uh, this way, the silverfish flow with the water, and your opponents have to deal with them head on when they respawn. If you, if you decided to throw the uh, bed bugs after they respawn, they'll still have to struggle to get to you, but their focus will mostly be on you instead of the silverfish, so it would buy you less time to break their bed, most likely, unless they're idiots. But uh, throwing them beforehand makes it so their attention is drawn more towards the silverfish than getting to you, since by the time they respawn, you're probably on the other side of their bed defense, and they can't visibly see you if you're crouching. And they're, all they can see is silverfish attacking them right, like the silverfish in their face. And using more than one silverfish is m way more effective, of course, but it would cost you a lot of iron if you want to do so. If you're trying to get the final kill on someone, you can surprise your opponent with uh, a bunch of silverfish if you throw them just uh, in front of where they're going and potentially knock them off the edge if they are on a bridge or stop them from running and force them to turn around to fight you. And if you pair this with invis potions, uh, it will really get the jump of them since they have like literally no idea where you even are. So yeah, uh, if you also have a ender pearl, then uh, you can use the bed bugs as a distraction for the opposing team to deal with while you pearl in afterwards to take their bed. So like essentially you throw the uh, bed bugs in beforehand and then they they are, their attention is focused on the getting rid of the bed bugs and then you pearl in while they're trying to deal with them and then you can uh, go in and break their bed with relative ease if they don't kill them in time. Having a, go a good amount of the bed bugs beforehand would really help you if you're going to try the ender pearl tactic so that you can have the most time possible and if you for some reason have tons of iron and decide to buy bed bugs instead of golems or fireballs you can just throw a bunch of bed bugs onto your opponents as they come in or as you enter their base and have them eat your opponents alive while you simultaneously beat them to death with your weapon choice Okay, so for these defensive tactics, I'm not going to lie, um, they're going to be the trickiest to pull off successfully. Okay, so 
when defending, if a team is approaching your base, but you or your teammates are an island away from it, uh, what you can do in a desperate attempt to try to save your bed is throw the bed bug in front of your opponents as they are running along a bridge to get to your base and just pray that the swordfish knocks them off the edge or buys you enough time to catch up with them or void and respawn. Uh, the swordfish doesn't do much not back to players but it would likely confuse them when they take damage and this might even make them panic and jump off the edge by accident. Unfortunately, throwing this bed bug straight in their face won't deal any knockback to them, so you can't use it like you would with a snowball. If a team is right above your base, and if for some reason you want to use a silverfish instead of a fireball, uh, what you can do is get into a position where you can throw the bed bug behind your opponent, so aim for their back, and pray that the silverfish knocks them down from their perch. And be sure to not leave your bed unguarded while you do this, since the opponent can take the opportunity granted by you getting into position to jump down onto your bed and destroy it before you even get to throw the bed bug. If your opponent jumps down anyway while you do this, uh, you can throw the bed bug in front of them or to the side to potentially knock them away from your bed before they can attempt to destroy it. If they drop TNT and jump down, uh, you can throw the bed bug onto your exposed bed as TNT explodes, and they and they jump down. So you you're basically trying to knock them away from your bed with that. Most of the time, it probably won't work since the AI of the surface is very derpy. But hey, at least you tried, right? All right, now let's go into the evasive tactics. So while trying to evade and survive your opponents. If you're climbing a staircase, you can turn around and throw the bed bug in the face of your opponent as they climb behind you, which would slow them down and potentially knock them off the edge. And if you're about to duel your opponent in a bridge fight, throwing this down in front of your opponent as they attempt to build a staircase to gain the high ground will really mess them up and potentially knock them off the edge. Uh, this works best if you are just above them in terms of Y level since you can throw the, throw the bed bug in their face before they can climb up another block. Another thing you can do if you're back into a corner is throw a bed bug down to distract your opponent while you drink an invis potion and run out of there to escape. This allows you to escape a bad situation and will create some good distance between you and your opponent if they can't, and if they can't catch up to you in time. Now as for the ideal placement of this item, if you're trying to kill someone along a bridge, Throw it in front of your opponent so that it knocks them out back and gets in their way if they try to build up. Uh, throw the uh, bed bug at the back of your opponent's bed defense if you're trying to break their bed. And if you're trying to knock someone down up from above you, then throw the bed bug directly behind them so that it has the best chance of knocking them down without them reacting in time. Uh, what game modes does it work well in? It works well in all game modes. I wouldn't say it works well, but it works in all game modes. Uh, it's more viable in 3s and 4s, since the 4s are faster though, and you can get more iron than in solos and doubles. Now for the necessity of this item, most of the time it's very unnecessary to purchase this item over a fireball, which has the same price tag of 40 iron. I'd say it's most viable usage is when you're trying to evade your enemies or you're trying to final kill someone. And slowing your opponents down and distracting them could buy you some valuable time to get away or break their bed. But I don't think that's enough to justify the purchase for this item over the fireball. The fireball is a lot more versatile, it does a lot of what the bed bug can do, but better since it's more your control and more instant than the bed bug. With the bed bug you're relying on the derpy AI and your accuracy. And for practical use in any Bedwars game, this item would really need a huge buff, like a um, a cut in its a, in its cost, or just some sort of like buff, like maybe it does more knockback or is faster. And for it to be ever relevant in the meta, it really needs that. As a meme item, though, it's extremely funny when it works, and you can get a kill with it. So go have fun and try that out. So overall. This item is only ever useful under very specific situations, and I would not buy this item over the much more versatile Fireball, which has the same price tag as this bed bug. 
It's too situational of an item, and even then it's not even 100% reliable since you're relying on Sturpy AI to do something and it can be killed in just two hits of any sort. I would only ever use this item as a meme pick and not for practical use in any serious game of Bedwars. I feel bad for this thing, but yeah, it's just a meme item. Uh, anyways, with that, that's the end of this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to vote, of course. Don't stop gaming, guys. Peace out.